Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to another 20 mum hacks. You guys seem to love the last video that I made all about everyday mum hacks. So I'm back with another 20 and I actually asked you guys over on Instagram to send in your very best tips or things that you do that just make your life as a parent that little bit easier. So I'm also gonna share a few of the favorite ones that you guys sent in. And I feel like there's some really good hacks in this video that are very easy to just start using straight away. So I hope you really enjoy it. If you do, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. I also wanted to say a huge thank you to today's sponsor, Hyperjar. You may have already heard of Hyperjar, but it's a very cool money-saving and organizational hack that I wanted to show you guys. It's like a new way to think about money and Hyperjar works alongside your own bank account to help you to plan and organize your money better than ever. It's also completely free and there are no hidden costs. So it's an F FCA regulated e-money account and MasterCard debit card that makes me feel really organized. It's also very aesthetically pleasing and functional, so I'll show you that in a sec, but it helps me to budget, save for specific projects and goals, and also just manage my money better. So you go on to the app and you can set up jars. I have different ones for like holiday fund, my groceries, petrol, the kids clubs, birthday presents or whatever you spend your money on you can set up little jars to separate all of your money it's also perfect if you're a parent because hyperjar offer free kids cards so if your child is over the age of six you can actually order them their very own debit card and then you can put their pocket money onto it or their birthday money on it as well and they can use that and learn about money and personal finance and what I love about this is I've seen a few different companies doing kids cards but this is the only one I've seen that's completely free so say if the boys finish their chores at home, then I'll put their pocket money onto the card or into their jar and then they can spend it. So this weekend in London, I let the boys get themselves a souvenir, gave them their cards and it was so cool to see that they were actually being so careful with what they chose because it was their own money. They also loved using the card reader for the first time and just working out how to do it. And now if Fraser gets invited to the cinema with a friend, I can give him his card and then just make sure he buys the snacks and you could also set a spending limit on the kids cards as well. Another really cool thing that Hyperjar do is that they've partnered with brands to help you grow your spending power at 4.8% annual growth rate. So what I mean by that is they've partnered with people like Tui, Shell, Bowdoin, My Protein, Feel Unique, Dyson. So if you know you're going to book a holiday, say with Tui, you can put your holiday fund into that and it will grow at 4.8% annual growth rate. So it's like a way to beat the interest rates that are currently in the bank, because let's face it, 4.8% is a lot better. So anyway, I really like how it makes me feel very organized because you can spend money directly from a jar. So say if I go grocery shopping, I can spend the money that is in the grocery jar. All I have to do is link the card by holding my finger down on that jar and then it will just take it straight out of there. So I'll put some links in the description so you can check it out. You can download the app very easy to do and then you can order your card today so anyway yes thank you to hyperjar so much for supporting my channel and now let's get into the other hacks my next mum hack is to batch cook or to cook twice and so many of you guys said this on instagram as well and i've talked about this before but if you're already cooking and making a mess why not double or triple your ingredients and make it twice or make it three times so that you can have some in the freezer for a day when you're in a rush so if you're making something like shepherd's pie maybe make it twice just make as many portions as you possibly can and someone also sent in that great thing that she does is to meal plan with her kids she said that if her kids are involved in what they're having to eat that week they're more likely to eat it themselves and the next mum hack that someone sent in that I thought was a great idea was to make a little mini first aid kit in a pencil case or a small makeup case and then put that into your handbag for when you're out and about in case your child hurts themselves. I loved this idea so I just made this with a small makeup case. I put in some band-aids or plasters, some savlon, some wipes, some cream for if they get stung or touch a stinging nettle um, and then also some painkillers as well 
for myself and for my child. And I feel like if you go to the effort of doing this, you know your children are never gonna hurt themselves because it's always when you don't have a plaster or a band-aid on you that they end up scratching themselves. The next hack I have shared before, but it's perfect for the wetter and colder weather. If you like to go on long walks with your baby or your toddler, then this one's for you. If you get very muddy or messy buggy wheels, then get two shower caps and they fit perfectly over the very muddy wheels. Now, when I was filming this, ours actually wasn't very muddy at all because we rarely use the buggy anymore, but this worked wonders when we had very small children. Um, so yeah, wanted to share that. Just have them to hand in your boot. And the next tip that I wanted to share with you is such a simple one, but it works pretty much every time. So I thought it was worth sharing with you. It's like this reverse psychology that I do on the kids. If they don't want to do something or they're not getting dressed quick enough, I say, I bet you can't. And then whatever it is I want them to do, or especially with Jackson, if he's not like getting his shoes on, I'm like, oh, it's because you don't know how, do you? You don't remember, you don't know how to do it. And then all of a sudden he's like, yes, I do. And he'll just do it, whatever it is, very quickly and when I asked you guys for your best parenting tips or hacks I was overwhelmed by how many of you guys sent this one in and it was to put your washing machine on a delayed start so at night they'll fill their washing machine with all the clothes soap softener everything in it but then press the delayed start button I didn't even know that this was a thing but it makes such sense because every morning I load the washing machine but it would be way quicker if I could just have this ready to go and it would just turn on at say six a.m. and then when I come down I could then hang it out to dry or put it in the tumble dryer so that was a great idea and another hack that someone sent in was to make two coffees in the morning one for yourself to drink straight away and then one in a thermos coffee mug so that you can take it on the school run with you when you leave for the day I thought that was such a good idea because I actually have two coffees every morning and it would be great to have one just ready to go on the school run and then you're actually just making them once so I loved that idea or if you didn't want to drink two in the morning you could just make your coffee in like a coffee mug so that you can also have it on the go. And something that we have done for years with our kids is to teach them to hold the wings on a juice box so that it doesn't squirt everywhere. So when you have a juice box, you can actually pull the little wings on the side up teach your children to hold that rather than the body of the drink so that it doesn't go absolutely everywhere. And the next tip that I wanted to share with you is something that I've just discovered. My youngest son has started school, but he doesn't tell me anything when he gets home after school. I ask him, who does he play with? What did he learn? What did he do? And he's always like, nothing. Like I just wasn't getting anything back. So I actually Googled prompting questions to ask your children after school. I'll put a link down below so you can check it out, but it was things like you know what made you laugh today what did you daydream about did you prefer choosing time or circle time but the number one question that really makes him talk which is quite funny actually if I ask him who got in trouble today he really opens up and he tells me all about what happened you know who went up and down the rainbow or whatever it is at school. So if your child also doesn't give much away, you can try asking them who got in trouble at school. And <laughs> it really works. And something else that we do is to keep everything that we need to get the boys ready in the morning downstairs in the kitchen. So what I mean by that is in our kitchen cupboard, we have a basket which has a second toothbrush for each boy. We've also got toothpaste, hairbrush, hair wax, um, deodorant, sun cream as well. Like literally everything that they're gonna need to get them ready and out the door in the morning. So I know some people must keep this in their downstairs toilet, but we just find having it to hand is really helpful. And someone actually sent in that they also have a drawer of socks downstairs because she said she was always needing to run upstairs and get socks. So now she just keeps some downstairs and it's been life-changing. And an organizational hack that I have shared in the past is to keep your bedding sets together by folding them up and putting them into the pillowcase that matches them as well. This makes it so quick and easy to find a whole bedding set in your airing cupboard or your cupboard itself. And it also just looks really, really tidy. I've shared this before, but you guys seem to love the hack in my last video about making the bed twice. So I thought I would share this bedding hack as well because it really does just make it quicker to get a whole bed set. 
And my next tip is one for fussy eaters and I'm not claiming that my children aren't fussy because they absolutely can be and I've actually made quite a few fussy eater meal videos in the past if you want to check them out but one thing we've always done is to say to the boys that they have to have a polite bite because so much food looks not as good as it tastes. So you have to just try it. You have to have a polite bite. And if you don't like it after that, that's fair enough. But most of the time they'll realize that it actually tastes quite good. And another hack that I would totally recommend if you're trying to get more organized with your spouse is that you can have a shared calendar that you both put into. And of course you can add in colleagues as well if you want to. And something else we do is to have shared notes. So if we want to both put onto a shopping list or actually at the moment we're planning for Caleb's birthday. So we're both putting present ideas onto shared notes and it's really helpful. And with the festive season upon us, I wanted to tell you that we actually have these little security cameras around our house that are not only for security but Santa can actually watch the kids through them if they're being naughty or they're not doing as they told he can actually see through that and they actually flash red so you know that it's Santa so that's something that our kids know about so I just wanted to tell you guys about that as well and something that works really well for us is to offer the kids choices where we win either way so we found that sometimes the boys just want to have a choice and to be heard so in the morning if we say do you want to get dressed first or do you want to brush your teeth first we actually don't mind whichever one they choose because we win either way but then they feel like they've had that choice and also if you find that your child takes ages to choose an outfit in the morning maybe lay out two or three and they're ones that you're happy for them to wear but you could say do you want to wear this outfit or do you want to wear this outfit and it really can help to speed things up. A hack that so many of you guys actually sent in when I asked on Instagram is to wash shoes in the washing machine and to wash hats in the dishwasher. I have shown us washing hats before in the dishwasher because Matt wears so many and this is a great way to wash them so that they don't lose their shape and same with shoes if they haven't got like leather on them or anything as long as you you wash them on a very low heat then they're absolutely fine in the washing machine and some actually have shoe settings or sports settings on them so definitely check that and now that the world is opening up again a hack that I love to do is to dress the boys in very bright colors when we go anywhere that's like a public space so say if we go to the park or to a soft play or to a show I love to be able to just point them out very easily it's another hack that I really love as a way to get the kids to eat veggies is to get them to kind of eat them mindlessly or when they're very hungry so when the kids come home from school that is exactly when they're starving so if you have some veg cut up like maybe some carrots and some cucumbers and some hummus they'll like you know when they're just tired after school and they just hang out on the couch that's a great time to say here's some veggies and they'll kind of like mindlessly eat it or they just eat it because they're very hungry and it's a great way to get another one of their five a day into them. Next up I wanted to talk about toy rotation. This is perfect if your child loses interest in toys. You can put half away or maybe even a quarter away into the garage or into the loft and then every few weeks just rotate your toys. So bring some out put some away and then it feels like they always have these new toys and it really does work and it also helps to like minimalize the amount of things that you have out. And then the last hack is one that someone sent in to me and I wanted to share it because you guys seem to love the last hair washing hack with the goggles that I shared in the last mum hacks video. So she said she's actually put something into the corner of her bathroom like into the top corner so when she's washing her child's hair she'll say oh look at the a parrot or whatever it is and then they'll look up and she can easily wash their hair without getting soap and water into their eyes right so there you have it 20 more mum hacks I really hope you enjoyed them let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite and of course if you have any of your own I would love for you to put them into the comments I'm sure everyone would love to read them and links are down below for hyperjar as well if you want to check that out and thank you so much for watching I'll see you in in my next one. Bye guys!